we are going to talk about the people who are not going to make it to heaven. Now, these scriptures here, there are some sins that are not in there that if you continue to do without changing, you will not make it to heaven. So if you don't make it to heaven, you will make it to hell, unfortunately. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 9 through 11. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Amplified Version. So you may say, hey Kevin, why are you only teaching on the negative things of the Bible? There are a lot more people who are consistently sinning than the ones who are obeying God's word. So what benefit would it be, would there be if I was to only speak about the good things of God and not the bad things of God, especially when there are more people who are not serving him? So it would make more sense to speak about the bad things that are going to happen to you if you choose to disobey God. I would think so, right? Okay. Unless, no. <laughs> know ye not that the unrighteous shall inherit the kingdom of God. This makes me think of the once saved, always saved doctrine that is out there, where a person can say, or where they say that, all you have to do is believe in Jesus Christ, and you can continue to sin until death, and you get to go to heaven afterward. How demonic is that? So you are saying that I can kill 10 people every week. As long as I believe in God, I will go to heaven after death. While I continue to kill 10 people every week. So you are saying that if a consistent pedophile, a pedophile who does grotesque things to kids every week, as long as that person believes in God, they can continue on doing what they are doing and they are going to heaven afterward. Are you saying that? Are you serious? <laughs> that is so demonic on many levels. What type of God is going to allow consistent sinners into heaven. If he does that, he have to allow Satan and demons back as well. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. What makes you different? Yes, you may say that you believe in Jesus Christ. What is the difference in you and a person who says that they don't believe in God? You both are doing the same things. There is no difference. You know a person is serving God when you see a difference. If there is no difference, you are still a sinner. My Lord, how can I come and teach you if I am still having sex before marriage I am still stealing. I am still cursing people out, so on and so on. How can I teach you? I would be a hypocrite, right? How can I teach on something that I don't do? How can God say, or how can the Bible say that these things are going to send you to hell, but People are saying that you can do those things and go to heaven anyways. That is demonic. Hypocrisy. Know 
Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Give me a second, please. Be not deceived, neither fornicators. So what is a fornicator? Let's look it up. Of two people not married to each other have sexual intercourse. So this is saying you are having sex before marriage. And you may say, why does God care so much about sex? Like, sex is not really a big deal. Look, if you don't like his rules, how about you make your own world and make your own humans? Until then, you have to obey God's rules. Now, you can be crazy and try to overthrow God, but you can't do that. So what other choice do you have? Why rebel against someone that has the power to hurt you forever? <laughs> now, it would be different if a person does not have power over you. Now, it would make more sense then to rebel, but God have power over you. Why rebel? Think about that. Why are you going to rebel when God have complete power over you? He can send you to hell forever, then to the lake of fire. Why would you rebel against a person who can put you in torment forever? For in eternity. That is insane. Why not follow his rules? Think about that. Okay. Nor idolaters. So, what is an idolater? Let's look it up. A person who worships an idol or idols. So, if you are not worshiping the only one and true God, you are in idolatry. If, if you are not worshiping, so if you are worshiping other gods as Allah, Buddha, mm, all of these other gods, if you are praying to Mary and Peter and all of these so-called saints and stuff like that, you are in idolatry. Don't, and I am not trying to offend anyone. Please believe me. Don't pray to your dead mother. Don't pray to your dead father. Don't pray to your dead brother, uncle, cousin, so on and so on. Pray only to God. Worship only God. Stop worshiping all these other gods, these statues and what else? And all of these, some people pray to trees, rocks, the ocean, I'm telling you, that is idolatry. If you read in the Old Testament, you are going to see that God would punish people that would worship or pray to other things but him. Idolatry, not only the nation of Israel, but to other nations as well. God hates idolatry. He hates it. So stop doing it. Nowhere in the Bible it tells you to pray to Mary. Nowhere in the Bible it tells you to pray to Peter. 
Nowhere in the Bible does it tell you to pray to your dead family members. Stop that. God does not, God wants all of your praise to him, not all of the, all of these idol gods and all of these people. I pray that this makes sense. So stop praying to your dead family members. That is wrong. That is evil. That is one easy way to get a demonic spirit in your home and more. When you disobey God, that attracts demons. Why is my home so chaotic? You are attracting demons by disobeying God. So how can I do it, Kevin? Like, how can I get these demons out of my home? <laughs> Start obeying God. <laughs> One simple way. People are looking for these creams and oils and all of this other stuff to get rid of demons, but the issue is you are disobeying God. That is what that is attracting those demons. You want to do all of these other things, but the right thing. <laughs> Let me do all of this other stuff. I know that I am wrong and I want to continue being wrong. So let me try all of these other things. Let me spend all of this money buying all of this stuff when my life is not right. And that is the issue. That is what is bringing these demons in. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Okay, <laughs> very long video. Nor adulterers. What is adultery or adulterer? Voluntary sexual intercourse between a married person and a person who is not his or her spouse. So you are having sex with a married person who you are not married to basically that is wrong so stop doing it well kevin you know that married woman told me that her husband does not treat her right so she comes to me to get the love that she needs <laughs> i don't care what reason it is you are going to get cursed and she is going to get cursed more stop doing it even if her husband is so bad and so wrong, you have no right to touch that woman. Hey, you can do whatever you want, but when bad things happen to you, you can't say, what is going on? Okay, maybe I should make this a part two. I don't know. Let's continue. Effeminate, nor effeminate. So what is effeminate? Let's look it up. Effeminate of a man having or showing characteristics regarded as typical of a woman unmanly. So as a man, you should not be acting as a woman. Well, I don't agree with that, Kevin, because I was born that way. As a man, you should not be acting as a woman. Effeminate. That is wrong. That is evil. Even if I was born that way, that is still wrong. Let's say that I was born on this island. And on this island there was a law where you could rape people every day. Then I come to an other place where you can't rape people. Can I still do the same things as I did on the other island in the place where you can't do it? 
can a person say, well, I was born that way or I was raised that way doing those things, so I should be able to do it. I should be able to be that way. Then everyone at that other place would look at you crazy, like, what is your problem? Like, hey, that is not right. Raping people is wrong. But you are looking at them like, hey, I don't see anything wrong with it because we did it so much on the other island. I pray this makes sense. Just because you was born that way, just because you was raised a certain way, does not make it right. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. Where are we? Effeminate. Okay. So a man should not be acting like a woman. And a woman should not be acting like a man. Makes sense, right? So as a man, I should not be wearing women clothes. Even if I think they look cute. Like, hey, <laughs> those, um... That dress right there looks really cute. I want to wear it. <laughs> no, that is wrong. As a man or a woman, you should not be wearing men clothes. It is wrong. Well, Kevin, you know, you are just old fashioned. No, the Bible. It is not what I think. It is what the Bible is saying. God made everything, right? We have to go by his rules, not by our weak understanding. Okay. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Homosexuality. That is wrong. You can't be a homosexual, even if you were born that way, as you may say. You have to change. It is not right. If you stay that way and continue on that pathway and die that way, still having sex with, if you are a man and you are having sex with other men, and if you are a woman and you are still having sex with other women, if you die that way, you can't make it to heaven. This is not my words. <laughs> this is the Bible. So, if God wants you to change, you have to change. Verse 10. Nor thieves. So, we know what a thief is, a person that steals. So, don't steal. Which so many people do. Well, Kevin, what if I stole like a pack of gum? It does not matter what you steal. Don't steal even if it is tiny. Like, some people believe that if they steal like a tiny thing or like a pen or a pencil, it is okay. You know, it is only a pen or a pencil or, you know, a pack of gum or something really cheap. It is still wrong. If you steal, no matter what it is, it is wrong. Give me a second, please. No matter what you steal, it is wrong. Okay. Nor covetous. So what does it mean to covet? Let's look it up. To desire wrongfully, inordinately, or without the regard for the rights of others. For instance, let's say, you know, I see this guy and this guy has a really pretty wife. And I think to myself, like, man, like, I want his wife now. Like, I don't care about him. I want to take his wife for myself. So in that instant or for that situation there, I am coveting his wife. 
I am wanting his wife wrongfully. Even when she is married to him, I am saying to myself and I am wanting his wife. So I am coveting his wife. Or let's say that that same guy has like a really nice car, like a Mercedes Benz, like the, the best one. And I say like, hey, I deserve that car more than him. I want his car. Like even if I have to hurt that person, I want that car because I should have it and he should not have it. So I am coveting his car, his wife, and perhaps his life. And if you get down to it, I am probably envious of that person, which envy is a sin too. I pray that this makes sense. Coveting is, is wrong. Wanting something is not wrong. Like for me, I want a new car. <laughs> I am not coveting a car, but I want a car. I want, you know, this and that and this. That is not wrong. But when I get to the point where I'm like, hey, this person has what I want and I am going to do whatever it takes to take it from that person. When it gets to that point, that is sin. I want his wife so I am going to set that guy up so I can take his wife or I can talk to his wife and make her minds. That is wrong. Okay, coveting, covetous, okay. Where are we? I lost my place. Jesus. Okay. Nor drunkards. So people who get drunk. Getting drunk is a sin. We have to know that. Nor revilers. So what does revile mean? Let's look it up. Let's look it up. Revile. Criticize in an abusive or angrily insulting manner. So you are talking trash or talking crazy to a person. Just insulting, being rude, being mean to a person. Don't revile people. That is wrong. As you can see here, which there are many people that do this. Criticize in an abusive or or angrily insulting manner. So we are not supposed to insult people. Sometimes I hear people who serves God, like who actually serves God, not like these fake Christians, but they may call a person idiot or foolish or stupid and stuff like that. That is wrong. That is wrong. Okay. Nor extortioners. What is extortion? Let's look it up. Extortion. The practice of obtaining something, especially money, through force or threats. We are not supposed to do that. Extortion. We are not supposed to do that. So... Let's continue on. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. So this is saying these type of people that does these things are not going to heaven after they die if they continue on this pathway without repenting. Now, if you repent and change and you die following the rules and regulations of God, of the Bible, you are going to heaven then. But if you don't change off that pathway and you continue on doing these things, how can you get into heaven? How can you? Once saved, always saved. That is so wrong. Evil doctrine. As you can see here. So... I don't know if I have to read 11. And such were some of you, but ye are washed. So you are not doing those things now. 
ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, meaning that you are following the rules and regulations of God, of the Bible. You are doing what he wants you to do, sanctified. But ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, of the Lord Jesus, and by the Spirit of our God. So let's look up the word sanctified right quick. I believe I know what it is, but let me be more sure. Okay. Sanctified. Made holy. So you are following God's rules. In order to be holy, you have to follow God's rules, rules and regulations. You have to. So let me stop there, or this is the end. I pray that this all has made sense. And if you have any questions, hey, I am willing to help you. As long as you don't talk crazy to me or anything like that, you can ask what you will. And also, before I forget, we have to make sure that we have a Bible at home, like a real Bible at home. Now, there may come a time where they may shut off the internet or like the websites where we can read the Bible off, they may shut those down. So if you don't have a Bible at home, that is really going to hurt you. And I have a ministry where I send Bibles to people for free. So if you are interested in receiving a free Bible, contact me. Comment to me and I will give you my email address and we can talk there. God bless. Well, I am not saying that it is going to be the same Bible as this, but... I will give you a King James Version Bible, though. Okay. God bless.